Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Exchange Server 2019. In the last video, we moved on-premise mailboxes to Office 365 in Exchange hybrid environment. We migrated user mailbox, shared mailbox, and resource mailbox. In this particular video, we will discuss how to configure cloud-based archive or online archive for the mailbox that is hosted in on-premise exchange server. That means the primary mailbox will be hosted in on-premise exchange server, but the archive mailbox for that user will be hosted on exchange online. Before you start provisioning cloud-based archive mailbox for on-premise user, you need to meet certain prerequisites. This feature is only available in exchange hybrid deployment. If you do not have exchange hybrid deployed, you will not be able to enable online archive for the mailbox that is hosted in on-premise. The on-premise user account for which you want to enable cloud-based archive should be synchronized to Office 365. And that account should have a supported license assigned in Exchange Online. So let me create a mailbox in on-premise Exchange server, and we will be enabling online archive for this particular mailbox. So I will give it a name like, for example, Bob Ross. This will be a new user. First name Bob, last name. And then we will select the organizational unit. And let's assign a password. Now here under archive, we will select create an in-place archive for this user. However, instead of selecting create on-premise archive, we will select cloud-based archive. Now here you will see the routing domain for your tenant and select cloud-based archive and then click save. So the mailbox is created and archive is enabled for this user. However, we have to go through certain steps. Now, before we proceed further, if you go to Exchange Management Shell, and if we check the mailbox properties for this user, so let's run get iPhone mailbox, and the name of the user, pipe FL, and look for archive. Now, in this output, we can see archive database is blank because the archive mailbox is not provisioned for this user. Archive name is in place archive and the display name of the mailbox, but the archive state says hosted pending. So that means the mailbox or the archive mailbox is not provisioned yet. Now the next step is we will go to Azure AD Connect server and we will synchronize this user to Office 365. In Active Directory, we should see this user account. Let me refresh. So here we can see Bob Ross. Let's go to PowerShell and let's run sync. Press enter. So let's go to Office 365 tenant and go to users, active users. And here we can see Bob Ross is synchronized from on-premise to Office 365. And go to Exchange Admin Center, recipients, contacts. And here we can see Bob Ross is synchronized as mail user account in Exchange Online as well. Now the next step is we will assign license to this user account. If you want to enable online archive or cloud-based archive for on-premise mailbox, you need to assign Exchange Online Archiving for Exchange Server license. This is the name of the license that you need to assign to this user account. So select the license. Click Save Changes. Now this license is assigned. Now you need to wait for a couple of minutes because the provisioning process can take time. So now let's verify the archive attributes for this mail user account. We will run get hyphen mail user, name of the user, pipe FL, and we will look for archive attribute. So here we can see the archive grid value, archive name. This is the archive quota and archive warning quota. 
Now, this is the archive database. This database is Microsoft Data Center. IND stands for India, and this is the data center name and then database name. Archive status is active. And now if you go to on-premise exchange server, and if we run the same command here, now it says archive state hosted provisioned. Earlier, this was saying archive state hosted pending. Now the archive mailbox is provisioned. Hosted provision means the archive mailbox is provisioned on Office 365. Earlier, archive status was none, and now archive status says active. So now the online archive or cloud-based archive mailbox is provisioned for this user. So now you can apply retention policies or retention tags on this mailbox from on-premise exchange server, and based on the retention tags action, emails will start moving to cloud-based archive mailbox. And this user can log into OWA or Outlook client, and he would be able to access his online archive mailbox from either Outlook or from OWA. So this is how you enable cloud-based archive for the mailbox that is hosted in on-premise in Exchange hybrid deployment. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. And please share this channel within your community. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.